So here is how you create a cool audience that excludes your warm audience if you want to do a cool Facebook ad and not make sure that your warm audience doesn't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And uh, the, the thing you'll need to do, of course, is to go to your, first go to your Facebook audiences. And I wanna make sure that you have already created your warm audience. And if you are not sure how to do that, I'm just gonna do a very, very quick overview because that's not really what this video is about. But um, you have to first have created your warm engager audience, so custom audience, um, Facebook page, and I'm assuming that you have done, um, you have created everyone who engaged with your page in the past 365 days. That's the simplest way of doing it. Um, the more complex way of doing it, which I have done, is I've created a, a 30 day, 30 day engagement audience instead of just 365. And then I have a middle audience between cool and warm. I have a lukewarm audience, which is the people who've engaged between 30 and 365. But I want to keep this video simpler than that and just, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it simpler than that and just say that we're going to do 365 days, assuming that everyone who's engaged with your page for the last year is called warm, which is not technically accurate, but let's just say that's the case. And then, you know, you'd be, you would call this Facebook uh, page, Facebook page engagers, um, 360. 365. Um, I'm going to put GK in the beginning. That's because I have several pages, but uh, do that. And that is creating a so-called warm audience, uh, Facebook engager audience anyway. And then to create a cool audience, um, click, click on create audience, saved audience. And I'm assuming, let's assume that I've done all the targeting, you know, people who are into this celebrity or that interest or whatever. And I've already done the targeting of age and gender and, and countries and all that. Let's say, let's assume I've done all that. And now what I want to do is I want to click on exclude up here, just underneath the audience name under custom audiences, I click exclude. And then here I put in the, the, the one I just created. Um, you know, I just created that one, uh, but uh, I could, you know, that that was that still that one is still populating, which is why it's as fewer than a thousand because I literally just, as you saw me a few seconds ago, I created that. But this one I created a long time ago, and this was uh, this has been updating and populating every day, so that's twelve thousand. So I guess in the past year, twelve thousand people have engaged with my page in some way. Um, so anyway, so, so it's probably good to, to, but even though I just created this, even if I use this, okay, this will, this will update over time. Uh, this will update probably within a few hours and, uh, will be at this, this saved audience will be accurate with this, this will be accurate and updated. And so therefore the whole saved audience will be updated and accurate, um, starting a few hours from now. And because I've used the custom audiences, um, the potential audience's data is not available. And that's normal whenever we put in um, uh, inclusions or exclusions for custom audiences. For privacy purposes, Facebook is not allowed to show us what the number is. So if you want to see the number, you have to X these out first, look at the number and then put these in, knowing that the number changes somewhat based on what you put in. But uh, you don't want, know what the resulting number is. So once you exclude your warm audience, you might you might also uh, want to exclude people who have visited your website, which I've already created. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that here, but um, just assuming that I know how, you know how to do that. You you know people who visit your website and people who are on your email list. Um, I'm just going to click on this one, whatever you know. But email list, website, and um, uh, maybe customer list and then uh, Facebook page engagers though. That's considered your warm audience. And so this would be considered once I named this, you know, cool, a cool um, audience. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm just doing a test here. Um, then click create audience. And there you have a uh, truly cool audience. Where is it? Is it showing up yet? Oh, there it is. A truly cool audience, I didn't set, again, the age and location and interests are not set in here, but I just wanted to show you real quick. So that's how you do it.